Hello, hello, hello. What's up, everybody? Your friend the neighborhood, Dooley Ray. It's Taco Tuesday. And it's time to get back into Act 6. We had to cut things short last night, but I want to get back into it tonight. All right? So, is the music too loud, guys? If it's too quiet, too loud, let me know. Um... We need to get set into this, though. It's time for me to get into Chapter 3. Time to finish this freaking Medusa. How am I supposed to work from home if you keep streaming? I'm sorry! Sorry, VMAC. Just, uh, focus on your work. Don't focus on me. Oh, by the way, Hunter Fournette, first one in here. I feel like I haven't seen you in a hot minute, so welcome back. Hope you enjoy sticking around. Uh, what's up, Matt Tyree? Or Exposin? I don't know what to call you anymore. Poopy Butt! Alfie! Wonderful world! Wonderful world of magic. Dang it. Your name is just... Ugh. It, it, it's crazy. Uh, okay. Let's get set into this. Are you going to 100% Abyss? Am I going to 100% Abyss? At some point. Someday, in the distant, distant future, yes. Oh, by the way, Alcina Gomes, uh, hello, Gomez, is it Gomez or Gomes? <laughs> I said Gomes, <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, all right. Turn up the music a little bit. How's that? Okay. Maybe the songs are different volume, I don't know. I'm trying to be very professional. Is Waking Gilly 2099 a good idea for Labyrinth? Um, potentially. I mean, it gives you a combo shield, so it can be very nice to have, for sure. This is the team I'm taking in, by the way, for this path, I've decided. When are you planning your next path into the Abyss? Not for a long time. I, I'm focusing on Act 6. Act 6 is my focus now. So I'm, a fr I'm forgetting about the Abyss until Act 6, 6 is all the way done. Are you going to have to fight Venom the Duck in the Abyss on your next run? I mean, potentially. Depends on what path I take. Uh, really, I want to wait until I get, like, a Doctor Doom or something else. <gasps> you can feel the professionalism? Yes! Rage. <laughs> I'm so professional! Okay, so the final path that we have here takes us through Sentinel, Mephisto, blah 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 blah. All these guys. Including Omega Red and Human Torch. We got a special boost, this Mystic boost here, where as we get debuffs and we throw special attacks, we'll go unstoppable, and that will allow us to deal a normal amount of damage. This is a little... Ugh. It's a... It's gonna be a long one, so try to bear with me. I brought in Aegon, because he does go unstoppable at a certain point. So if I can build him up, I'm gonna try and build him up on the Sentinel here, and uh, see if I can get... I need to get to 750 hits with Aegon for him to go unstoppable, but then he'll deal a normal amount of damage, and he'll be built up, which could be nice for the Medusa, even, uh, if I can get that special 2 off. So, yeah, yeah. Anyone notice how Dooley wears different headphones like every stream? I wore... These ones are a little older and a little more worn out, so if I'm, like, really, really focusing on sound, then I'll wear these headphones. Um, those are the ones that I wore for the Abyss, just because uh, these are a little more comfortable, maybe. I don't know. I, I actually don't know. I feel like I hear better with those ones. It's not a big deal. It's whatever. Okay. So, going into this with Aegon, here's what the notes are. We've got Bubble Shield. Um, we got Running on Fumes, which I'll get a Fatigue debuff. I'll shrug those off with Aegon, so that's not a, not a huge deal. Uh, and then can't stop, won't stop is the big issue with this path. Let's get set into it with Aegon. Let's see how this goes. Uh, Hyperhex, what's up? Welcome, welcome. He just did 4% to me in a single hit. Oh my gosh. How much health does he have? Because <laughs> we're dealing like... <laughs> we're dealing, what, 100 per hit? Oh boy. I'm not even going to worry about analysis charges, whatever Sentinel does, because... He's just gonna do what all sentinel sentin sentinels do. That's what his name is. All right. We got him down to ninety-eight percent. Yeah, we're our attack is reduced by seventy-five percent unless we're unstoppable. So this is just is not gonna go well for me. Let's get him to throw a special one. At least there's nothing else to worry about except for losing my combo right there, like I just barely did. 
that sucks. Okay, but <laughs> I'm still full health, so we're just, we're gonna call that a reset, and we're gonna go at it again. Throw the special one. Oh my gosh, this is gonna be such a long fight. I mean, Sentinel does go unstoppable on his heavy attack. Maybe I should bring in my uh, five-star Sentinel. Maybe that would be really helpful. All right, 25 hits. Watch that combo meter. Yep. Okay. Oh, it's getting hot and sweaty already, boys. We are in it. In it. I'm sorry I can't read chat while I'm going through this. This is... <laughs> I got him down to 96% uh, with 50 hits. Uh, hopefully this is the only miserable fight on this whole entire path. Once I get Aegon built up, not going to be as much of a problem. I would hope. I would really, really hope. Only a thousand hits to go, let's go! <laughs> uh, and if I get hit by that special one, it's all over. I'm done for. I'm not gonna push him to a special two, I don't even- I don't even wanna deal with that. And honestly, I'll just block the special one, cause why not? It's safer to just block the special one. We know this, and yet... You don't do it. Aegon's heavies go unstoppable. Oh, true, 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 true. Okay. I'll start throwing some heavy attacks. I lost my combo. Oh my gosh. I don't think this is a good idea, guys. I really don't think this is a good idea. Because he's not um, he's not going down. I got to like 100 hits and then I lost the combo. But he's not dealing damage to me, so I'm like, <laughs> I'll, just, I'll just stay in the fight. I'll just make it even longer. This is basically, this is basically an abyss fight, right here. Except for I'm actually able to get more hits in this fight. So it's like an abyss fight, but no limit on the hits. Okay. You got caught by the bubble shield? Yeah, he went unblockable. Unfortunately. But we're building back up. We're back up to 59 hits. <laughs> I'm getting no critical hits at all. Ugh. I mean, it's really good for building up my combo, but for my sanity? Not, uh, not super good. We got him down to 90%! Let's go! <laughs> We're 10% of the way down. This is literally an abyss fight. <laughs> right here. Based on the damage that I'm dealing, and the amount of health that he has. Pretty sure it's just about the same level. Boy. I know his heavy has unstoppables, but I don't know how I'm gonna fit heavies in against this guy. I gotta try and keep a rhythm on this fight, or I'm gonna... Lose my combo for the upteenth time. Man. Don't stress. We're good. We got him down to 87%. 87%. Let's go. I'm getting a bunch of debuffs on me, which is pretty nice, and I shrug them off as well, but when I have them on me, they don't deal damage, so I'm just getting willpower off of it, which I will uh, I will take. No problem. No problem at all. This is the ultimate training for fighting against Sentinel. Boop. 
Cha, cha, cha. Oh, now we got true accuracy. 150 hits, boys. Let's go. Only 600 hits to go, and then we go unstoppable. And the rest of this path will be not so terrible. We're all the way back up to 100%, though. We gotten hit a few times, and we're back up to 100%. Pretty happy about that. But we only have him down to 84%. To <laughs> this is not as good. I want him to throw a special one. I do not want to push him to a special two. Okay. At 300 hits, we'll start to get Furies. That'll make things a lot nicer. Maybe I should bring in Proxima, just so I have like an extra careful combo shield. Just in case, you know? We're at 200 hits! Let's go! What's up, Fussy? When is Dooley gonna do Arena Grind Taco Tuesday streams? Dude, there's no time for Arena when you're doing Act 6. Alright, let's just uh, go ahead and wait for him to wake up. And he'll throw his special one. We got him down 20%. <laughs> 200 hits. <laughs> oh, this is such a long fight. Okay. Throw a heavy? I could throw a heavy, but I don't know, like... I want to be careful. I don't want to have him hit into my block too many times. I almost just messed up there so bad. But I don't want to have him hit into my block too many times because of the bubble shield going on here. He goes unblockable every ten times he hits into my block. So I'm trying to be careful about that. And these random heavy attacks are just not helping me feel confident. That was my bad. Alright, 250 hits. Okay. Gotta pause. Dude, I got sweaty hands. Oh, I'm gonna mess up. I'm gonna lose my combo. I don't want to lose my combo. Um, either way, Claire will do the rest if he uses Claire style. Yeah, so if I apply the boost and use Claire, she'll do normal damage, but she's going to be doing Claire damage. And we all know Claire damage is not damage damage, you know? I really should have brought in Proxima. For a fight like this, <laughs> with this kind of combo, <laughs> I really need to be careful. We're almost at 300 hits, though, in this one fight. I almost just want to, like, quit out and bank the combo that I have. Play it like Abyss. But I don't know if that's a good idea or not. All right, 67%. I feel like I have a pretty decent rhythm on this. <laughs> okay. 
Okay. Are you guys as stressed out as I am? What's going on? Uh, this is <laughs> my hands are so s freaking sweaty. <laughs> You're the only YouTuber I've known so far that said my name right? Aha. Uh -huh. Well, glad. Glad to say it right. What's up, Dynamic? What's up, Luis? Wes? Poopy butt. I already said hello to you. Um, I'm a god when fighting real people in arena, but with bots, I'm trash. I used to think I was fighting real people in the arena, but it's all bots. They're all bots. Alright, he's gonna go unblockable after he, he hits into my block one more time. So I want to be careful about that. Alright, his next hit is unblockable. I don't think anything else should be though. Okay. <laughs> Dude, I'm so scared of this combo. I should have brought freaking Proxima. Just in case. But, um... We're going all in. We got 400 hits. He's not even down half health. How ridiculous is this? Dude, don't throw these heavy attacks, please. Dude, stop it. Don't throw those heavies. Oh my gosh. I kind of want to bank the combo that I have here. I think I'm going to have to. Did I just lose it? Did I just lose my combo? Please tell me I did not just lose my combo. He wins unblockable. Keith win it! Is that Keith win it? Oh my gosh, I should have thrown my freaking heavy. Did I lose my combo? I lost the entire combo. Ugh. Oh, that was a 20 minute fight, and I lost the combo. I was trying to think of a smart way to go about it, but. Oh no. This fight should be over in 38 minutes? Yeah, no kidding. I wonder if Guillotine 2099, I want to see if she does damage, uh, and then we'll probably quit out here. I don't know. You lost more than your combo, my <laughs> I lost everything, dude. Everything. And my parry doesn't work, so that's awesome. Okay. We're gonna bring in Proxima. We're gonna bring in Proxima. <sighs> and maybe we should test out Clairvoyant, see what she does with the uh, the whole boost. I think it's still going to be pretty tough, though. Going to take a lot of work, at least. Wait, I didn't bring in Proxima. Alright. 
Who do we switch out for Proxima? Or should we even use Aegon? Because that didn't... <laughs> I'm sorry, v uh... Actually, we did pretty good without Proxima up until that point. So if we just bank the combo... I really want to try out uh, Guillotine 2099, though, and see if she does good against Sentinel. Because if she does good, then that opens up a uh, world of possibility for me. Alrighty. Gonna try it again. Bear with me. <laughs> We're going in. Get rid of Guillotine? I want to see if Guillotine deals damage or if this node also reduces the energy damage that she does. Oh, we have as many combo hits as we're gonna get. Alright. So we just go into this. Full on with Guillotine 2099. Ouch. But we're good. <laughs> Swing and a miss. I still have my combo. We're okay. <laughs> We're still okay. Right? We're okay. I think. If I quit the fight with Aegon, yeah, I would keep my keep my combo. For sure. Dude, he's doing so much damage through my block. I guess Guillotine 2099 doesn't have a lot of health to begin with. This guy's really just not into throwing his special one. For whatever reason. Look at this. I'm leaving myself as open as I possibly can without just committing suicide. Alrighty. We got over 50 hits. Over 70 hits. Once we hit that 100 mark, we are golden. Dude, throw your special attack, please. For the love. Dude. <laughs> please. Just throw it, please. Man, I feel like I've done more damage in 100 hits with Guillotine than I did with Aegon. How crazy is that? I guess Aegon takes a little bit more ramp up. Potentially. How much energy damage am I dealing? 100? We're starting from 100? It's like starting from scratch. Okay. I don't think Guillotine 2099 is a super great option. I was hopeful. But I was mistaken. I mean, I can still do it. It's just gonna take forever. Instead of really fast like I wanted Guillotine to be. Whew! Guillotine, you almost walked into that. You fool. And I'm only healing 22. I guess it's based on the damage that I deal. Or it must be, because normally I heal way more than that. I 
I mean, we're still gonna get this fight down. It's just gonna be miserable. <laughs> Basically just as miserable as using Aegon. At least in this fight with Aegon, you can like build up the combo. But with Guillotine, I'm gonna have to restart everything in the next fight. Man, this is such a crazy hard path. Alright. We'll just keep on increasing the uh, energy damage that we deal. And over time, magically, he will be defeated. Is it even worth finishing this out, or should I quit out and get uh, Proxima for Aegon? Is that what people are saying? What's up, Punchback? What's up? What's up, Punchback? Welcome. Um, your life stealing very less due to the node making you deal less damage, yeah. You have to build guillotine in every fight. Yeah, it'll take a lot longer than Aegon, so we're just gonna quit out. We're gonna take guillotine out. Um, it was a fun little test, but I mean, I could have done it with guillotine. It would just take so much longer than if I just get Aegon built up. <gasps> Is that Big Blue? Tim, what's up? Alrighty. Do, do, do. Where's my Proxima? I think I should really rank up my Proxima to rank 4. I think it's worth it. I have a bunch of cosmic rank up gems, actually. So that wouldn't be a terrible idea. <gasps> Masakre! What's up? Sad personality? Quit! Don't be such a downer. You have to believe in something. Never quit. Never stop. That's my life motto. Alright. We're going in with Aegon against this Sentin hole, and what we're gonna do is absolutely obliterate him. Why am I using Void? I'm using Void for the Mephisto, because I don't know who else to, to use there. Maybe Claire. I could probably use Claire on the Mephisto, but um, I don't know. I don't feel like that would go as well as, as you might hope, as I might hope. All right, we're in it with Aegon. No combo lossage today. Because we got Proxima on our squad. So I did lose my combo twice, though, in my last fight. <laughs> so if I lose it again, then Proxima's will protect my combo. And then I don't have that protection anymore. So the goal is to make it as far as possible without taking a single hit. Which for me, not even a problem. When you were a pro, like me, you'll understand. Someday. <laughs> Someday. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but is using Corvus for this? No. Uh, so the best thing to do is to use unstoppable characters. So Juggernaut would be really good for these fights. <laughs> because he'd be able to deal his normal amount of damage instead of 75% reduced. Like, I'm literally, I'm dealing 25% of my normal damage. If I hit him with a special one, do you think it would push him to a special two? Time to test. No, we're good. We're fine. We're almost to that 100 hits as well. It'd be really nice if Aegon just had like checkpoints that you could hit where it's like, okay, if you get 500 hits in a fight, yeah, you're safe. You keep those 500 hits. That'd be so nice. Okay, is he, like, <laughs> is there a specific note on him that makes him throw heavy attacks instead of specials? This guy's triggering me. You get some nasty combo for Aegon with this fight? Oh, I can definitely build up Aegon with this fight. With Aegon and a uh, small amount of skill.
Alright, we're back up to 110. We got to like 400 before. <laughs> and then, then I lost my combo. So sad. So, so sad. Alright. Just focus up. I'm actually, I'm not as nervous now that I have Proximine on my team. As strange as that sounds, just having her there is like a comfort for me. So I don't have to be panicking this whole fight. Because I know if I slip up once, I have the protection I need. Although I don't want to use that protection for as long as I possibly can. Hey, is that a Captain Bay? What's up, Cap? Uh, how far are you into Chapter 3 of Act 6? I'm assuming you've completed everything. I'm like, I know you were fighting the champion and whatnot. Oh my gosh, I can't focus. I'm sorry, I, I shouldn't be talking right now. But, um, here we go. <laughs> Stop throwing heavies! You're killing me. The nice thing about Sentinel, as well, his ability, he actually uses less of his power when he throws his specials, so it's easier for me to push him to special attacks, which helps me keep a rhythm for the fight pretty well, so I don't actually have to block any hits. Yeah, it's actually pretty nice. Well, except for there. I did block a hit there. We don't need to talk about that. Haven't touched 6.3 yet? Oh, I just done an initial clear? Okay. Yeah. Exploration, man. It's a, uh... It's a mountain. A full-on mountain to climb. My units yesterday, I had almost 3,000. And I've done some marina grinding on the side as well, so I picked up a few units here and there. And I'm still... It's all falling apart. Because I have no revives stored up. No health potions. I'm playing this like a... Like a dunce. Going balls to the walls. I just about slipped up there. Here we go. Yep, yep. Boop. <laughs> oh no. Okay, now we're in trouble. Because I slipped up. F, dude. That's only 200 hits. I was hoping to make it to like 5 million before taking a hit. Now the pressure's on. Because now I can actually lose my combo. Dang it. Uh, how did he even catch me there? He just caught me off guard. That's all. All right, just play, just play cautiously. There's nothing to worry about here. No way we'll lose our combo again. Bank him at like 300, just to revive. Alright. I think I'll make it to like 2,000, and then go for the bank. Because, uh, I can definitely do that, right? Dude. Chill with the heavy attacks. The heavy attacks are killer. The sweaty hands are back. <laughs> I don't know, like, there's a, some kind of, like, subconscious difference. Alright, we're at 300 hits. I should be able to make, like, 500 at least, I would say. The smart thing to do would be to bank it and just eat the revive. But, here in Dooleyville, we're not, uh, we're not about being smart. Screw that smart stuff.
dude. Just keep on throwing your heavy. I don't care. I'm not gonna let you hit me with it. I do need to freaking... Ugh! Smartest for tryhards. That's exactly right. I need something. I need like a towel to freaking wipe off my hands. That's gross. Okay. I think you need to roll in with Kingpin and just belly flop. <gasps> Is that something I could do? I mean, I would lose way too much health on that. I don't know. I'm tired of this fight and I'm not even fighting it. Dude, I'm so tired of this fight. I don't even know what's going on. I'm throwing a special one. Okay. We're back in it. <sighs> these random heavy attacks are what are killing me. Like, he's not hitting me with them. But, potentially, I could get hit. And I just don't like it. <laughs> and his next hit was unblockable too. Wow, this guy's a douche. That was close! Oh my gosh. <laughs> that was scary! So scary! I think, okay, if I can get him down to 50% health, I will quit out and use a revive. Whatever my combo ends up being there. Quit now before you lose the combo. Psh, I'm no quitter. It's balls to the wall. It's balls to the wall here, man. Oof. Stop it. Stop throwing heavies. Dude. Alright. Fine. We're we're all the way in it though. How much of a combo does that build up for Aegon? What's he at? Three hundred Is that twenty three? Maybe three hundred twenty three. Okay. Quit streaming, quit the game, quit hitting on that girl. Wow, Keith. Wow. Yeah. Oh, not holding back. On any of those punches. Jeez. Cutting deep, man. <laughs> Hit me right where it hurts. Honestly. Okay. So Aegon is built up. We revived. We're actually... We're in this. Um, I don't know if he's at 323 or 303. We're just going to assume 303. Um, just because... Oh, this guy. He makes the fight longer because he lowers crit stuff, too. That's why it's so much longer. Because once he gets those analysis charges built up, I stop, I stop getting crits. That explains it. That makes sense. Because I, I literally just took off like 15% of his health in this two seconds when in 400 bajillion hits, I couldn't. Yeah, that's a uh, big difference. Big, big difference. All right, don't get cocky. He's got his analysis charges built up and he's back to throwing those stupid heavy attacks. Dude, stop it. Stop it. Throw your special attack, man. Uh, there we go. Uh, why you gotta be like this, Sentinel? All right, we got 56 hits. 450 to go and we'll get completely unstoppable all the time dude dude this is such a long path can you imagine somebody tried to do this as their first path oh what jerk gotta itch my nose 71 hits. Oh, there's the special attack. Love it. 
Love it. Love it. Just keep doing that, dude. That's great. That's so great. You're totally gonna hit me someday. Someday. I feel like there's a boost. There is a boost for this lane. But I want to get Aegon built up because I feel like he'll be easier to use than any Mystic character that I currently have. There is a boost to use for this lane, though. <laughs> um, yeah, it involves Mystic characters. It makes them go unstoppable on special attacks, so you can deal some damage. But I don't think it would be enough damage, because basically it just makes it 100% damage instead of 25%. And that's not a big enough difference for me to be impressed. Alright. Sentinel. Send it all. Can we talk about this? There you go. Dude, it is a super long fight. I'm so sorry that you guys have to watch me go through this. But this is part of Act 6, so prepare yourselves. I wonder, oh my gosh, can you imagine a Legends run? I'm sure people used Mystic characters, but I wonder, I wonder who people used. I don't think Doctor Doom was around at the time, was he? So Doctor Doom would probably be a pretty decent option. Maybe Clairvoyant then would be good. I'm not entirely certain. I should go watch other people's videos and see what uh, see what it, see what they used. Because Aegon, while he's probably going to save me revives in the long run, definitely not a fast option. Morningstar, ooh yeah, get Morningstar built up, and then she'll probably do some major damage for you. Alright, 14% boys, we're in Assassin's range. This fight is a Morningstar fight? Okay, maybe that's what it was designed around. It's Morningstar. Alright, we got him below 10%. This is it. Oh, use Thing! Thing is an option. Thing is definitely an option. I think that's probably what a lot of people actually ended up using. It's the thing. Unfortunately, I am one of the lucky people in this game who doesn't have a 5 star thing. What if I got a 6 star thing? Can you imagine? No. Right now, all I've got is a 4 star thing. It just feels weird saying thing. The thing. Hey, what's up, Kurz? Dude, welcome to the stream. Enjoy it. Because this is me at my best. We're going for it. There we go. Finished him. Finished him! Whew. This is a nice trick when you build a combo with Aegon, quit the fight and keep the combo charges. Yeah, that's what people do in the Abyss when they're building up their combo charges. It's the thing. Okay. So do you call him the thing all the time, or can you call him thing sometimes? I took too long. Yeah, my Legends run is not going super well, to be honest. Um, Alright, what's this guy got? Extra soul. Let's go with Void, see if Void can do stuff. Kingpin works awesome for that fight. Does he? Gosh dang it, I just finished it. <laughs> I can't bring him in now. It's actually, it's been a hot minute since I've used Void. Ever since I got Human Torch, Void has been on the back burner. So. Feels kinda nice to be back to this. I guess I could have brought in Human Torch as well. I just figured Void would be good for this and then I could potentially use him on the Medusa fight. When I get to, there's a Medusa fight at the end of all of this. Oh my gosh, I forgot that uh, the uh, Sentinel was not the boss of this chapter. Alright, if I die with Void here, though, I do have Aegon to back me up. So. Let's cut off all his power gain. Now we don't have to worry about that. I mean, I'm not dealing a lot of damage with my degen stuff, I don't think. But 
Over time. Over time, this guy will go down. And he's not going to be as difficult as Sentinel either because he doesn't get analysis charges that'll shut down all my crits. So I can at least crit sometimes. See, I'm hitting for 300 damage instead of 90 with Aegon. Messed up a little bit there. What does Fatigue do? Oh, it lowers my crit, I think. So he's doing the same thing that Sentinel was doing. Eh. That Fatigue is definitely... It's, it's killing my attack here. Alright, I'm gonna back off a little bit. Let the Fatigue fall off. I am full health, though. That's nice. He's not giving me any space at all. Now I'm backed up against this wall. Yeah, I just gotta attack him. Push him back to his wall. Alright. How long does it take for the fatigue to fall off? There we go. Okay. Now I gotta try and focus on keeping that fatigue off of me. Luckily, I'm keeping him power controlled. I guess that's the nice thing about Void versus Mephisto over using Human Torch is the power control. It's very helpful. Where with Human Torch, I would really, I'd have to be paying a lot of attention to what's happening with this power here. I'm not saying this va is fast or anything, but it's definitely faster than Sentinel. So hopefully the rest of the path goes similarly to this. That didn't do anything for me. I wasn't paying attention. How's your regeneration working for you, Mephisto? There we go. Okay. Mephisto's going down. Slowly but surely. Gonna hold on to my special one for just a minute, then throw it. Perfectly timed. Bada bing, bada boom. I did get a couple of juicy crits there. <laughs> Getting some sick whoop -ah! whoop -ah! You ready for this? Whoop -ah! Intercept? Oh my gosh. Brilliant. Oh, he blocked it. Not so good. But I intercepted him there, like a boss. Alrighty. 200 hits in. And... The fight is over. Bah. Dang it. Whoop there we go. We got him. Still believe Void is better than Cap Infinity War. Uh, for what Void does, I would say yes. I think Captain Infinity War has a lot of other uses that make him useful for, for different things. Um, Alright, Mephisto down. Now we get to Punisher 2099. I'm a little nervous about this guy, because his special attacks, especially if I'm not dealing damage, he's going to be throwing a lot of them. That's going to be some block damage. But we're going to use Aegon. We're going to go at this. He's got maximum overdrive. He gains 25% of his max power over 5 seconds every 25%. Alright. Let's go. Look, I'm actually getting critical hits. Oh, it's so nice. Do I push this guy to a special one or a special two? The special one's not unblockable, right? But I always, uh, 
I always do the wrong thing. And, uh, oh my gosh. He's gaining power. I thought he meant, like, I thought it was talking about his health, but it's talking about his, uh, battery charges. Like, he's, he's gonna gain... He just hit 75. Isn't he gonna gain power? Or something? I don't know how this guy's working. Wow, this is such a cheap fight. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna push it to a special 3. We're gonna... We're gonna go into insane Aegon mode. And we're gonna see what kind of damage we can deal. Look at that. Oh my goodness. I had my combo shield, so I didn't lose my combo there, but I only got in like 40 hits. Yikes. I used Void for champion. <gasps> Should I use Void for this fight too? Then when he gains power, I'll reverse it instead. Or should we try out Clairvoyant? Is there anything in particular we need Clairvoyant for that Aegon won't be able to do? Maybe Domino. Oh my goodness, we're gonna get to Domino. Yeah, we'll get there when we get there. Um, Omega Red as well. Yeah, this is gonna be awesome. Okay. Use Parry Heavy with Aegon? I'll try that. I'll try out your methods. I'll listen. I'll do it. You should use Curse? No. There will be no Ligma. Do I go unstoppable every heavy attack? I do. Which allows me to deal a normal amount of damage. Well, except for there, because it's on a timer. Strange, okay. I'm gonna push him to a special two. Alright, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna get to the special three. We're gonna have him charge at me. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Give me just a second. Just a second. Now go! Alright. Okay, okay, okay. Now we go into insane damage mode. Please let me just finish this guy, huh? No more revives. There we go. Finish it with skills. Skills. That I learned about it. <sighs> Alright, we got a Nebula up next. Oh, dude, she's gonna destroy Aegon. So this is a fight I'm actually gonna use Clairvoyant for. And I'm gonna go ahead and get this um, World for the People. Have a 100% chance to purify all non-damaging debuffs. Okay, that's not it. Oh, I think it's this one. The, uh... Why do I have two of these boosts? Why do I have two of these boosts? Have I gone through that path before? I think it's possible I've gone through that path before and I'm just not remembering. Okay, wait, 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 how does this boost work? By the way, don't know. How does the boost work? Uh, I get the fatigues, right? So I get the fatigues and when I activate a special attack, the attacker has a 25% chance for each of their active debuffs to gain an unstoppable buff lasting six seconds. Okay, so for the duration of that, I'll, I'll be able to do it, I think, okay. So here's what's gonna happen. We're gonna play Clairvoyant like a pro. We're actually gonna push to a special three. Get some death protection, I think. All right, the fatigue debuffs are not sticking. I have a 25% chance per fatigue, for, 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 per fatigue debuff to um, do what I do. I'll just sit in the corner with her. Why is it not placing fatigue debuffs? All right, I do want her to use her special one though. And I don't want the fatigues to fall off, hurry.
Alright, we're gonna do this. Unstoppable. Wait, but the fatigue debuffs don't get purified. That's not good. Or maybe it is good. I don't know. I didn't go unstoppable. I had a 75% chance to go unstoppable. I guess that's how lucky I am. There we go. See, I don't get any critical hits. Yeah, Claire's just... I don't know. I'm not feeling it. Yeah, that's why I didn't want to rely on the boost, because of that. Maybe Morningstar would be a really good option for it, but... Clairvoyant, I just, I can't. <laughs> could I use, go I could use Ghost for this fight, technically, I suppose. It's just, oh my gosh, I'm going to take so much shock damage from uh, her throwing her special attack. So prepare yourselves. You're about to witness um, some not good stuff happen. Build up a bit of a combo here. All right, before I lose my combo, no, I lost. The... Wait, but I have Proxima, right? So do I keep the combo? I'm at 357 or something 57. I think 657, maybe. Am I at 657 hits? That would be really nice. Um, nope, I lost my combo. I guess on a special three, you'd lose the combo, no matter what. Don't know. Not sure. All right, Aegon. Let's go. Do 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 do. I can't shrug off the <laughs> the shocks because they're passive. So passive aggressive. Dang it. Can you use Proxima Special 3 for this Nebula? I mean, I, I could. I don't know that it would deal a whole lot of damage, though. Don't forget Parry Heavy. Parry Heavy. Got it. Locked down. In the brain. These are not unstoppable. But she's dead. Okay. Yikes. Morningstar won't work great. I think Morningstar would be... Oh, wait, isn't that great? Her buildup will be painful, but when spilt, she'll destroy? Yeah. It, it would be kind of similar to Aegon, actually. If you get her built up. So, wouldn't be the worst thing in the world. Proxima specials have more than 200% damage that can't be capped. Proxima is decent. She might be. Maybe I'll uh, use her for Domino. Oh, I just lost uh, footage. There we go. Okay. Transducer. That's not a note I really need to worry about too much. What am I at? 584 hits? All right, only 200-something for Unstoppable. I can't believe I haven't built up my combo that much with Aegon. Cheeky little intercept in. Another cheeky little intercept. Heck yeah. Aegon's buildup is so much nicer than Morningstar's buildup. It's a lot more doable. Because Morningstar, you can only build up one soul per fight. It would be cool if you could build up more than one soul per fight. That would make Morningstar probably overpowered. But you can't do that. So she's not overpowered. If I get to 200 hits, man, I'll be unstoppable. I'll be absolutely unstoppable. You'll never stand a chance. Did 
Did you forget? Uh, no, I didn't forget about the parry heavy. I'm actually I'm trying to get as many hits in as I can, so I don't want I don't want to deal too much damage. I feel like Blade is a good place to build up more of Aegon's combo, because I'm trying to get to 750 hits with Aegon, because then he'll go unstoppable all the time. So that's what I'm aiming for. Alrighty. You know, I think Blade is the only character in the game where you can, like, full-on control when and, well, when you regenerate. I think that's pretty cool. I, I wonder why they haven't added that to any other characters in the game. Maybe they found out Blade was OP because of it. You think so? Don't mess up on Medusa today? Dude, no way. After all this work, <laughs> how could I allow that? Alright, we gotta be getting close to the unstoppable, right? We'll just call it a solid 200 that I need to hit. It's 200 minus... what, 30? No, 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 no. Minus 16. Okay, 200 minus 16. So I gotta get to... Something. <laughs> Wait, math. Uh, just gotta get to 184 hits. Then I'll be unstoppable. Uh, oh, there we are. There we are. We're unstoppable. We did it. We reached it. Okay, but ah, now we're gonna have to build up his combo more. Let's go. And we're against Domino. This is gonna be fun. What's my combo at? 713. Okay. We're so close to 750. I don't know what Domino's ability is. I didn't check the node. Oh dear. Oh dear, it's probably like, Domino will make you degen for the rest of your life, so just don't even worry about it. My combo shield activated. This is not, this is not good. Alright, I need to check her note, to see what she's gonna do. Immune to ability, accuracy, passives, and debuffs, okay. Captain Marvel with the Rogue synergy? Does she go? Does she go unstoppable? Because that would definitely be good for this. Domino, my oldest nemesis. I don't have dexterity. Remember that. I need what? Thirty hits. Thirty hits to go unstoppable. No. Use Proxima? I'll try Proxima. I'll do it. I'll do it, I'll do it. Skill against Domino is a torture, yeah, for sure. Okay, I just need to intercept her attacks. Are you ready for these Whoopahs? Whoopa! Whoopa! <gasps> that counts as an intercept? Dude, yes, Domino is so good for Proxima. Heck yes. Let's go. Although, parrying is going to be a little difficult, isn't it? Or not? Dude, Proxima might be the ultimate uh, counter to Domino. That I didn't even know. Didn't even realize. Dude, I am all too familiar <laughs> with Domino not throwing her special attacks. Although, normally it was because she was on an all-or-nothing node and I was trying to use Stark Spidey and taunt her. There we go. Oh. Oh. Freaking Domino, dude. <laughs> Bro, I need some help. I have a five-star Science Awakening gem. Who should I use it on? Cap Infinity War, Human Torch, or Thing? Oh, that's tough. Uh, I don't. I don't think you could go wrong with using anybody in particular there. Yeah, can't evade her uh, specials. So we're going back in with Aegon. My parry failed, and I didn't expect it. Because Proxima can parry projectiles. So she can potentially parry Domino's stupid stuff. 
Alright. We just need 12 hits, man. That's two combos. Just need two freaking combos. There we go. We're unstoppable. right now. Come at me! No, 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 that's not what I meant! That's not what I meant! Oh, dear. The butt. Duh. Duh. She threw her special attack instead of coming at me. The one time I'm like, hey, come at me. She throws her special attack. I love that. I love that. Dude, I don't even know what to say. She's playing like Domino plays. I, I don't like the way Domino plays. <laughs> I guess I kind of asked for it, didn't I? Dang it. We do have that 750 combo, though. Just saying. We are all set for ultimate destruction. De La Domino. Alright, this is it. No more revives. We're done. We're done with the revives for the son of a... There we go. You're dead, Domino. You are dead. Get dead. Get dead! Ah! She's dead. Did it. Tom Higgins! What's up, dude? One side, a three-star Domino, and her bleeds did 500 bleeds every two to speed two. Dang. All right. There we go to Human Torch. This should be easy, right? He says. <laughs> What's Human Torch got? What's his node? When Human Torch is bleeding, his temperature increases. Whenever a bleed expires, he gains a smolder passive. Okay, do not make him bleed. Whatever you do, do not make him bleed. Got it. Aw, oh, dude, look at this. We got Aegon all built up. So nice. Human Torch just melting. Don't throw Aegon special attacks, though, because that gives Human Torch smolder charges. Trust me, I would know. He got a smolder charge anyways. I guess I would shrug off the incinerates, that's not a huge deal. Whew. Make him bleed, I dare you? No. Uh, last, I have a five-star mystic gem. Should I wait for Doctor Doom or use it to awaken... Ligma or Symbiote Supreme? Are you saying Clairvoyant or Symbiote Supreme? I don't know if either of those need to be awakened. I don't think Doctor Doom even needs to be awakened. So, use it on whoever you use the most. Because <laughs> who knows when you're going to pull Doctor Doom. Is it worth waiting? Maybe. Maybe it would be. Aspect of War! They saved the best for last. Yay. Hooray. It's going to be so fun. Gonna let his stupid stuff fall off of me. What happened to my block? What happened to my block? Why are you not using Nick Fury yet? Nick Fury wouldn't be super good for these fights. I'm saving him for the Medusa. He has to be full health to fight the Medusa. There's a very specific thing I have to do because she has buffet. Hooray. So we just gotta finish things off with Aegon. Whew. And then we'll be good. We're just gonna immediately throw a heavy attack and go ham on this guy. Check it out. Oh dear, Omega Red, where did your health go? Whatever happened to your health? 8%? But you were just so high up. Ah, get out of here. You can use Aegon for Medusa? Ooh, maybe I'll try that. I can use Void for Medusa too. Void is full, uh, full health as well. This is the final path in this stupid Medusa chapter. We're done. All right, we gotta finish off this Black Bolt though. 
So I'm going to use Aegon for this. Uh, get through him, hopefully pretty quickly. Will Kabam ever introduce a teabag victory animation? I don't know. I wouldn't put it past him. They do some silly stuff sometimes. Why did I bring in Void? No! Void is terrible for this fight! I literally just wasted Void. You know what? We can make this work. We can make this work. Just hopefully he doesn't get a regen. Well, I mean, he has aggression regen, so hopefully he doesn't regen too much. Because if you try and reverse heal this guy, he, like, he heals extra. And I degenerate, too. Yeah, this is not good. I do, uh, need you to throw your specials. Uh, every time I place a Petrify, dude, I degenerate. Oh, no. Void is so freaking bad for this fight. I just gotta try and deal as much damage as I can. Make it at least a little bit worth it. Dang it. I wasn't paying attention, I just loaded right in. I'm just gonna let Void die. I don't even care. Just gonna... Just gonna forget that happened. Next quest, Dooley? Uh, yeah! I, I wanna hop into the, uh, the Nick Fury quest. Alright, Aegon it is. We're going with Aegon. Hopefully this Black Bolt will die fairly quickly. Whew! Yeah, bringing in Void was not my best idea. Actually, it wasn't my idea. It was Kabam's doing. You know what? I think we can finish this Black Bolt if we do the special three... All part of my plan! All part of my master plan. Here's what's gonna happen. He's gonna get knocked down, stunned, and I'm gonna kill him. Go, 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 go! No, 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 no. Come on, come on. There we go, got him. Whew! Dooley, I'm sorry, but your music is too loud. Can you lower it? Is it too loud? Need someone on call? Maybe. Alright, I can lower the music at least a little bit. There. Alright. Ay ay ay. We got our Medusa fight up and ready to go. I want to try out Aegon, but... <laughs> I can only deal damage with my special 2. So I gotta get to my special 2. Here we go. If I got to a thousand hits, I would be unblockable. That would be good for her, uh annoying auto block abilities wait did she actually regenerate did i deal damage to her am i getting past the node with my ability accuracy reduction oh well she killed me in a hit I should have expected that. My bad. I uh, rank three my four star Nick Fury. He does big boy bleeds against science champs. Nick Fury just does big boy bleeds, period. Finish me. There we go. There we go. All right, we got her. We got her right where we need her. We got my tactical charges. I'm unblockable. We're good. I need to build up a uh, internal bleed. Give me just a second. Oh, 
Boom. Please throw your special too. We got it out of her. I'll throw my special too as well. We can have a special two party. <gasps> Doesn't that sound like fun, Medusa? Don't you like the sound of a special two party? Boom. Boom. Butcha. Alright, gotta watch the power there. Is this gonna be a Medusa solo? Please. It's time. It would be the best way to finish this off. Oh my gosh, this is it, boys. This is it! Medusa soloed! <laughs> it's the ultimate demonstration of skills. That's right. Mm. Give yourself a little pat on the back for that. Yes, that Medusa. Bane of my existence. And I soloed her. <laughs> Okie dokie. Don't need Symbiote Supreme, that's right. 50 units! Oh, I'm rich. I'm so rich. Hey, what's up, Owen? Arjun! Hey, hey. Now that you learned how to kill her, you don't have to. Dude, oh. <laughs> what a time. What a time, huh? Alright. <laughs> I've had some incredible luck lately. Did four epic red rifts, got 20k five star shards out of them. Pulled Nick from one of the five stars? Dude, congratulations. This is not what I came here for, Dooley. Oh, sorry. You didn't want me to um, take out Medusa? Sorry. I'm just too good. Alrighty. So, next up we have this chapter here. We got a boost that only applies to skill champions on the path that we took here. Most useful in this. In, uh... Oh, hey, Sohan. Thanks for subbing. Uh, okay. So when I land a critical hit, it refreshes the intel that I get. I don't know if this only applies to Nick Fury or if it applies to all skill champions. Uh, while active, the potency of all passive damage that would trigger when landing an attack is reduced by 100%. So basically, this entire path has thorns. And if I get crits, then I won't get hit by thorns. That's what I'm getting out of this. So, it's about the skill champions, and also this Nick Fury. We gotta take out this Nick Fury boss, who I'm trying to remember who I used last time. I feel like it may have been... I can't even remember. Shadow King! Hey, hey! Thank you, thank you. One of the guys in my alliance got two Awakening Gems and a feature from three runs. Oh, dang. <laughs> Gotten peanuts. Yeah, kind of unfortunate that... Uh, Lucky people just seem to get luckier. Okay, sorry, I'm looking up my own video uh, to see who I used to take out Nick Fury. Is that dumb? Maybe that's dumb. But uh, I need to know what I did. Um, okay, let me show you. That's the wrong. Let's see. There we go. Okay, this is what I'm looking at. Um my videos here if we go to the nick fury fight oh, gosh. looks like namor <laughs> namor is not a good option <laughs> um namor might be a good option if i play him right so i used namor quite a bit did i use anybody else in particular namor namor uh, Namor. Oh, I just went through the whole thing with Namor. Yikes. Okay. I didn't even... I think that was before I knew about freaking Aegon being such a good option for this. Sunspot is the best option? Ah. Oh. Have you stopped using Namor? Seems like he completely died after the nerf. I kind of did stop using Namor, to be honest. Alright. So this path is all about skill champions. Even... I'll try out Ronin. I'll give Ronin a go. I could even give Blade a go. Oh, but we gotta think about this Nick Fury. So, if I remember correctly, he's debuff immune, and he has p empowered immunity. What's up, Slap? I like your name. Use Domino, I soloed 
Oh, yes, dude. Let's freaking whip out this domino. Replace Ronin with that. Okay. We'll bring in Blade. And we need Namor as well for this Nick Fury. Uh, who else would be good for the Nick Fury? Maybe Hyperion wouldn't be too bad. I think we'll take in Hyperion instead of Blade. We'll use Nick Fury right. and Aegon for the path. Hey, Willis, dude, thank you so much for subbing. Making Starlord dance. Okay. Um, you want to put debuffs on him to push him to SP2, and Sunspot puts Incinerate on him with every hit. Oh, but this Nick Fury boss is debuff immune. Omega Red if you got him. I don't have Omega Red. Can't use Omega Red. But I can use Domino. So, we're good there. Alright, so we gotta get through the science path. This is what we're aiming for here. We're targeting this. Right here. Bada bing bada boom. Thorns. Gonna die. I wanna be able to freaking take out this Nick Fury boss. Um, I guess we'll get there when we get there, but he is immune to debuffs. He has empowered immunity. He increases duration of bleed. If I hit into his block, I start bleeding. Right. It's a lot of bleh stuff. It's that guy, Steve. Steve? Steve. <laughs> Thank you for subscribing, my dude. Uh, okay, let's go ahead and get through this green goobly gobbly. I used Ghost for the Nick Fury boss. Did you? Ghost is not a good option for fighting against Nick Fury. So if you did, I'm impressed. But uh, Ghost is, this might be the first path, maybe the first chapter ever in Act 6 that I have not taken in Ghost. How crazy is that? So this guy doesn't have anything special about him. This is just a, uh, a combo building fight before I get to the science champions that I actually need to fight. Oh my gosh, Ved. Dude, I think you were, you were subscribed before, right? Are you just resubbing to make Star-Lord dance? <laughs> well, I appreciate it. <laughs> okay. See if we can push Green Goblin to his special two. I don't have Proxima here, so I definitely, I don't want to lose my combo. Oh wow. Normally I'm not uh, the best at dodging this Green Goblin special 2, but that went decently well. Decently well. He's regening for so much, this is why I hate Green Goblin. This is why Green Goblin is the worst. Oh my goodness. I can't even, I can't even look. What's your name? What's your name? Try hard. <laughs> Thank you for hitting the sub button. Uh, uh. Oh my goodness. This is just a repeat of last chapter. I'm not dealing any damage. I'm almost 100 hits in. I guess this is a good thing, though. This is a good thing. This gives me time with Aegon. Why did it... My special one didn't push me back at all. He literally... It just, it just let me sit there. So that's 100 hits I lost. That's awesome. Back to it, though. I still have health. I should probably quit out and restart, but... Quitting out is for smart people. Saving revives? Pfft. Never heard of that. Hiram Smith! Hey, hey, what's up? What's up as well, Affliction? Welcome to the stream. Actually, I think you've been here for a little bit. I just didn't say hello before. But I said hello now. Green Goblin. So yeah, basically I'm like 140 hits into the fight and he's not even half health. Green Goblin. Okay, we're restarting. Green Goblin, most OP character in the game. Confirmed. <sighs> uh, is it worth it? <laughs> is using Aegon worth it there? Or should I just... Suck it up and use Hyperion. I did resub to make Starlord dance. Well, thank you, thank you. <clears throat> oh, hello, Mr. Ilac Skizzles. Mr. Ilac Skittles. Everybody put some Skittles in chat for Ilac so he doesn't lack Skittles anymore. Haha, <laughs> funny joke. What's up, I like? Good to see you. Uh, Sanjo! Hey, hey! 
Welcome to the stream. All right, we need to build a Bagon. We're gonna build a Bagon. We're gonna try it one more time. If this doesn't work, we're gonna go Hyperion. But if we can build a Bagon, we will, because then we can use him against the Nick Fury boss, and that's a bonus. That's a definite bonus. Alrighty. Just don't lose the combo. Congrats on the domino. Thank you. Dude, I'm super stoked that I, uh, that I have the domino now. Alrighty. We got him down to 90%. Hooray! We're winning! We're winning the fight! <laughs> I feel like I'm gonna end this fight with like 2% health. Cause uh, I got him down to 80, uh, 83%. He's got me down to 86% now. We're just slowly hammering away at each other. <clears throat> Will this push him to his special two? No. So we get to eat the block damage on the special one. I guess that's okay. It's better than uh, trying to deal with the special two. I, I feel like I really, I used to be able to dodge Green Goblin special two really reliably, and then I don't know if. If something changed or no this is the exact same as last time this is the exact same thing that happened last time this is literally the same thing if I lose my combo I'm quitting out all right screw you screw you right. <gasps> Sam Eaton thanks for hitting that button the subscribe button who's today's objective for Intel Red Hulk is watch out you have to play really defensive for Sabretooth and X6 he plays super aggressively are you talking to me I don't think I'm having to deal with any Sabertooths around here. Alrighty. We're starting over. We're going in with, um... Not... Aegon. Not Aegon. This fight is for Hyperion. I feel like both of these... <laughs> these two fights are for Hyperion. Um, because that Bishop's not going to be a fun time for Aegon either. Oh my goodness. So many people. Who's that? Oh, dude, your name. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Here we go. Inez Cor Corberg? Uh, I tried. That's as good as it's gonna get. Finally got six stones from the rift. Hey, congratulations. Use them wisely. Alright. <laughs> Use Groot. <laughs> That's funny. It's a great idea! If you want to come back in a year, see if I've completed the quest at that point. Oh, I should be using the special one, actually. All right. Hey, Dramamu! Thanks for hitting the button. Dang it, now I gotta throw another special three. Alright, we're gonna try and throw special ones. Get some incinerate damage going. I think that'll be better than trying to deal major damage with the special two. This is faster than Aegon, not gonna lie. Should melt him down a little bit. How does that feel, Green Goblin? Doesn't feel so nice, huh? Get hit by lasers. Now you understand how the rest of us feel. There we go. Oh my gosh, I love Hyperion. Green Goblin bleeds, he's a dead fool. Yeah, best idea. 
Deadpool for the win. Alrighty. Let's go with this bishop. Um, I probably used Ghost for these fights last time. I'm trying to remember. And if my assumptions are correct, I probably, yeah, I'll bet you it was Ghost. It was Ghost that I used. All right, we got 10 Furies. Let's throw that special three, get some extra damage going, and start throwing special twos. No special ones allowed. Don't let me throw a special one, because that'll give Bishop power and prowess, and he'll get to his special three and absolutely obliterate me. No special one. Let's throw this special two, though. Get a stun? Heck yeah, dude. Oh my goodness, I love Hyperion. I'm in love with Hyperion. The Luke Cage fight will be a good ramp up for Aegon. Hopefully. I'm really hoping the uh, the thorns don't deal too much damage. Well, I guess we'll have to wait and see. Alright. Let's take out... Uh, we need to boost up. Alright, get that boost up and running. Where is it? Live Intel? Is that what it's called? I think that's it. In Overhang, that's what we're in. Yep, this is it. Okay. Here we go. Did we do it? My game is frozen. Just get to that 50 hits without dashing back too much. Wait, it's not Caltrops. It's Thorns that I'm dealing with. So when I'm hitting them... They're dealing damage to me. We'll see what happens. Oh! The Indestructible is going to be a good time for me to build up, though. While he's Indestructible here. Oh yeah, this isn't bad as long as I get a critical hit. Please let me get a critical hit. I can't let it fall off. Yeah, dude. Not so bad. Not so bad at all. I want to throw my special two. I don't want to get to a special three. Sorry about that. Throw the special one. Okay. Whew, this is an actual, like, super helpful boost. This is the first one that I've used that is actually, like really helpful. The other boosts I've used so far, they were... There was one that was kind of helpful in the Medusa chapter, but honestly, the Mystic boost, not not super great. Prep for Abyss Luke Cage. Ooh, MSD! Dude, um, I've heard that Luke Cage is the hardest fight in Abyss, and I'm assuming you're probably going to be one of the best sources for me to go to for information. What makes the uh, Luke Cage fight so bad in the Abyss? Like, what abilities does he have? It's like, anytime he goes indestructible, you get stunned. That would suck. Dooley is a superior intellect. That is correct. That is the most correctest thing you've ever said in your life. <laughs> Oh no! Please don't lose my combo. See? See how my special one pushed me back there? And it didn't against Green Goblin? I'm so confused. What's the difference? Why... why did that... Yeah, I don't know. Uh, I feel like it should always push you back, but... On some fights it doesn't, and on other fights it does. So I don't know what to say. She-Hulk can solo the fight against Luke Cage? What does he do? There we go, Luke Cage down. Whew! Uh, Iron Man Infinity War and She-Hulk can solo that fight against Luke Cage? Infinity Man? Can Infinity Man... In <laughs> can you get anybody? Every 20 seconds, Luke gains an unstoppable and unblockable buff, lasting until you land an intercept. It's a rough one without She-Hulk or Stealth Spidey. Oh, jeez, yeah. Yikes. Okay. Well, good thing I have a She-Hulk that I'm planning to take to rank 5. 
bring her into the abyss someday <laughs> when I go back to the abyss. Got a She-Hulk solo, but it requires you to play perfect. Yeah, and it probably requires things to like line up pretty perfectly as well, right? How do you do all the testing? Do you go, uh, do you go, wait, don't they lock off those quests in the beta? So you have to like actually go in and do it every single time. Do you have to go all the way through the abyss to test things out? Or do you not actually, okay. Not, not super important. Is Colobsidian good because I pulled him? He was really, really good at one point. I think he's still pretty decent. So I would say he's good. But I don't have him myself, except for as a four star. So I'm really not too sure. Gonna let Void come at me so I can throw my special one. Yeah. Yes, Cole is good. The law has spoken. Cole Obsidian is good. Is Kingpin good? Uh, not particularly, <laughs> I would say. Um, I mean, he's alright, all things considered. But for other characters that are in this game, he doesn't really compare. Glory Store Reset? Oh, you're going for the gold crystals. Oh, dear. Hiram. Alrighty. Well, you uh, you go for those gold crystals. I should probably buy some more potions or something. Because that's what I spend all my glory on, is potions. Whatever's left over, though, I try to throw at tier 1 alpha and tier 4 basic, so I can do other rank ups. Uh, he's the toughest fight in the Abyss other than Collector. Are you sure about that? Have you played against Venom the Duck? <laughs> Venom the Duck was the worst. I think I just, I, I did, I played it the wrong way the whole time. So I suffered because of that. But still, that Venom the Duck just, uh, not a good time. I watched Dooley's stream for two hours, still not regretting. Careful, if you watch for two hours, you might end up watching for two and a half hours, and that would be bad. I guess the nice thing about this chapter is they only have these nodes. They don't have any specific buffs on them. That makes it a lot easier. Okay, so I brought in Nick Fury, and I definitely want to use him. I think maybe I'll end up using him for especially Spider-Gwen, but maybe Wasp as well. So I guess I'll use Aegon for Human Torch and everybody else. Oh, Venom the Duck, those memories are not great. Okay, I'm not the only one. Venom the Duck is, is a horrible fight. I hated it. I brought in Nick Fury, didn't I? Yes, I did. Genius. I'm so good at this game. <laughs> Don't worry, guys. I, I definitely did this on purpose. Should I kill off Nick Fury? Just go to the decoy already? I want to see if I can do anything with the... Uh with the decoy Nick Fury. Oh, because it's the real Nick Fury that comes after the decoy, right? Yes, okay. Boom. Yep, that's uh, something that I, I did that on purpose. Just wanted to let Human Torch hit me a little bit. That's all. Just wanted to give him a fighting chance. You know? Kind of felt bad for the guy. Human Torch's special too is actually pretty hard to dodge. It's definitely possible, but I have a hard time with it. Because he flies at you so fast and he does so many moves all at once, I'm just like, ah! the whole time. Do it, throw it, watch. Okay. <laughs> Oh, okay. It's not anything to be scared of. I survived. If I can survive, dude, you can survive. Easy. Uh, I don't think a Doom Solo is possible. A Sim Supreme one is? <gasps> Symbiote Supreme! Do you think Symbiote Supreme is better than Doctor Doom for the Abyss? Eh. 
fight, or are there other fights that uh, that Doom can take that Symbiote Supreme can't? I'm trying to think, it, like in particular. Um, I think most, all of the Cosmics actually can be can be bled, right? They can bleed, right? Hey, Hobbit, what is up? Let me know if you uh, decide to do the Abyss this uh, this week, so I can come watch. I guess you'll let everybody know, so I'll <laughs> I'll hear that way. Never mind, never mind. But let me know, so I don't miss it, please. Uh, it's impossible until you're using six star rank five Doom, the uh, Venom the Duck solo. Hey Dooley, how do you evade Human Torch's SP1? Just dodge back as many times as you can. Four times, actually. You have to dodge back four times. All right, egg on here. Let's get through it. Just gotta make sure that uh, that buff stays up. Gotta get critical hits. I'm still a little bit scared of Hulk's special one, if I'm being honest. There was a point in time where it was like one of the scarier specials in the game because it just, it came right at you and if you got hit, you'd be stunned and Hulk hits like a monster. So it's scary. But nowadays, <laughs> there are other specials to worry about. This one, not so bad. His SP2 is easier to dodge though, so let's just go ahead and push him to that. There we go. Boom. Clear is good for Abyss, but not fantastic. Yeah, she's really slow. She doesn't have the damage, but she does have the um, the utility, for sure. Like, against Typerion, I, I think it took two, maybe three revives to get through. He was a five million health character, but with the immunities, I was able to like survive for way longer than I should have. It probably, it was one of the longer fights I played, I feel like, other than Venom the Duck. Just because I was using Claire, and she would heal up, because I would I have her awakened, so she would cheat death, but then she would deal no damage. Hey, what's up, Ken? How you doing? I used Mordo for Abyss. I spammed SP1, and I almost quit when I had to face Phantom of the Duck. You used Mordo for Abyss? I'm impressed. I'm impressed. I try to... Like, I try to... Okay, we need to kill off Nick Fury now. Um... I try to be optimistic about Mordo, but to be honest, he just doesn't super impress me. Dang it, I'm not going to be able to go unblockable this fight. I really like being able to be unblockable. There we go, we, we, we uh, reset the buff. We need to be careful about that. I do need her to throw her special attack, please, 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 please. Alright, we're gonna have to push her to her special too, just so I can reset that buff, not take Thorn's damage. I have to eat the special too. Dude, will you throw your specials? Please, please throw your specials! Does Wasp usually play this defensive? I feel like that's a little unusual. Maybe I'm wrong about that. That was a close call. We're just gonna try and finish her off here. There we go. Alrighty. That was not fun. I'm Quaker. Lucky to get her as a... Dang! Congrats on the Quake. Actually, Quake would not be bad for this path. It's all thorns, so, I mean, you could quick it. Not necessarily saying it would be fun, but you can do it. I don't know. Even if I had Quake, I don't know if I'd be able to play her. She has such a different playstyle from other characters, and I don't know if I can pick up on that. Who knows? I don't have a, a Quake, so it's hard for me to say. <gasps> oh, they've tried to make it difficult for you to crit on this note here. Putting Ant-Man. Making him glance. Hey, what's up, Kanga Jenga? How's it coming? Uh, zero revive so far, would you believe it? Okay, maybe not. But in the Medusa chapter, I actually, I soloed the Medusa boss to finish her off. Got the solo with Nick Fury. 
You should have seen it. It was beautiful. I think I might cut it out <laughs> and just post it on my channel, just so I can uh, commemorate it forever. Always remember that I defeated Medusa once and for all. Because I can't even tell you. I, I waited for an extra maybe six months to do 6.3, because I could not figure out a way to get past that Medusa. champ suggestions for 5.4 Ultron boss except Loki. Oh, I was gonna say Loki's pretty fun. Uh, except for Loki. Besides Loki, Medusa's a really, really good option uh, for it. Uh, if not Medusa, then uh, I don't know. You could use Stark Spidey, maybe? Stark Spidey's pretty good. He helps you dodge the special attacks, but there's a lot going on with that Ultron, so it's really nice to have somebody who kind of helps deal with those, those nodes, those buffs that he gets. So Medusa, I would say, is the best option for that. <gasps> I wasn't paying attention! Ah, I thought he was dead! I really thought he was dead there. Mm, not happy. Alright, we're going uh, Nick Fury for this fight. Come on, zero revives for this full path. Make me a proud poppy. If I can just get to my special one, get some intel. There we go. All right, now she can't evade me. You will never evade me again, Spider Gwen. How's it feel? Look at that intercept. I actually thought I failed the intercept there. Not gonna lie. <laughs> but uh, I got it. We're good. It's all good. Alright, no more special ones. And you're unblockable. Let's go. Nick Fury for the win. Yeah. yeah. No revives on this whole path. Whew. Can I get through Nick Fury with no revives as well? Can I get through this boss? That's the real question. I'm not going to get ambushed, am I? Alrighty. Whew, this Nick Fury boss. Okay. He's got... Shank, tactical... All of that. He's got all of that. He's got all the goods. All of that stuffs. So what we're going to do, we're going to go in with Aegon. Immediately throw a heavy attack. My intercept failed! Nick Fury's too powerful. Against Nick while using Domino, use this tactic. Get yourself a bleed by hitting on his block. One bleed is enough, then keep using SP2 only. Okay. Put as many debuffs on him as possible. On Nick Fury? Uh, it is kind of, like, I, I do want to push him to a special too. Alright, so what I want to try and do... Let's try Namor. Let's have some Namor fun. And, and see what Namor can do. Namor was who I used to originally defeat him, and it was not a fun time. I'll tell you that much. So if I can manage to push him to not a special one, if I can push him past his special one, that would be ideal for everybody. Alright, if he throws one more special one, he's going to be unblockable. I understand way better how Nick Fury works now. So... That is pretty nice. I understand how Nick Fury works. Oh. Yeah. Namor's not a fun option there. Uh, let's try Nick Fury against Nick Fury. Dude, 
This guy's a freaking boss at intercepting. I guess that's why he's a boss. <laughs> um, do we go Hyperion or do we go Domino? Hyperion, Domino, Hyperion, Domino, Hyperion, Domino. You can actually dex Nick Fury's uh, special one if you got the skills. Can you? Hey. All right. We can try out Aegon. I mean, Hyperion. I want to see what Hyperion can do. Oh, if I can get a, a, sp a heavy attack out of him. Nope. There's probably a way to intercept his heavy. Because it's really long. I probably just... You dash back one time and then throw the heavy. I think I dashed back twice. That was not a good thing. Okay. So, with Domino. Hit into his block. Get the SP2. Got it. Whoopa! Whoopa! Oh no! Oh, it feels so good to be on the other end of the uh, domino here, though. Not gonna lie. Okay, I need him to block so I can get the uh, bleed up. What the heck? All right, I'm going to throw this special two just so I can get my health back. Alrighty. Here we go. Throw your special two. Thank you. Why am I not getting a bleed when I hit into his block? <laughs> I tried to dodge his special one. Probably shouldn't have done that. That was 20,000 damage there. That's not bad. Come on. This is a really solid run, dude. I love Domino. Whoops. Okay. Wait, Disney dropped Deadpool 3? No way. I guess it doesn't really fit the Disney brand, but... Ah, uh, that sucks. If I was Dooley, I would parry and heavy attack with Domino. Well, he's immune to stun, so... Start the fight, quit the game, open game, continue fight. You'll start the fight with his second phase. That's cheating. I'm not gonna do that. I'm going to use a Team Revive, though. I think, because I can use all of these characters, except for Nick Fury, I guess. Against Nick Fury. Um, as long as I play with skills, we'll be good. He's immune to literally everything I do with Nick Fury. Come on. There we go. Throw your special two. Actually, I'll throw my special ones. Because, uh... What was he immune to? On the special one. That doesn't make sense. The special one doesn't deal bleeds, does it? Maybe. Why don't you heavy spam with Domino? You should try it. I can't, because he's stun immune. Let's finish it up with Aegon. And whoop! I got the intercept! I did it! I'm so proud of me. <laughs> Alright, let's see. I don't know why I'm saving up to the special three. Maybe because I can deal more damage with it, I guess. Let's 
Just see how much damage I can deal with the special three. He's immune to disorient. Does it place disorient on every single hit? Because he got... He got... The SP1 debuff applies on every hit. Dang it. I guess it does. Well then. Alright. We did damage to Nick Fury. Let's go in with Namor. Because Namor is so good, right? Namor should be good. He should be better than the way that I treat him. Alright, I do need you to throw that special too, though, bro. I This fight is definitely soloable with Namor, I would say. Using the special three here. Oh my gosh, he's gonna. <laughs> oh, wait, if I quit out right now, if I quit out right after the special three ends, okay, then I can keep him at low health. Just keep hitting that pause button. We're gonna, we're gonna time this perfectly. Ah, ah, I say we go at it. Because he's just going to degen to the point that we had it anyways. So maybe we can just continue to deal some damage to him. Yeah, this is okay. Alright, no more blocked hits. That's the good stuff. I don't want to talk about what just happened. <laughs> uh, Leo. What's up, dude? I'm a mid-tier player, level 44, haven't completed Act 4 yet. I have a 4-star Awakened Gwenpool rank 4. Well, nice. That should be helpful. Alright, so let's try Domino again. Domino was a fun time. She did good. Though I do need to hit him to, like, do damage. I guess that's kind of my issue right now. Let's go. Let's go. Yep. Jeepers, that's some block damage. I need him to not throw a special one, though. Hit. Nah. <gasps> I dodged two parts of it. I could have dodged the third part. Does it come in three? It comes in three parts. All right, watch this. I've learned. I'm going to dodge his special one on this next attempt right here. Actually... Alright, he's unblockable. This is the ultimate test. And I failed. Okay. Hold up. Hold up. We're gonna use Domino. Finish this off. I'm not gonna try and dodge a special one. Unless he throws a special one. Maybe then I'll try and dodge a special one. Otherwise, it's not gonna work. My evade failed. Who oh, no. knew? I didn't expect to hit him. I'm so sorry. I didn't expect to hit you, Mr. Fury. That's my bad. I threw the special one just to push him to his uh, special two. That's uh, that's thinking with big brain. Here, boys. Okay. I don't know how to use Domino properly, do I? 
That kind of sucks if you push him to his unblockable phase with a mutant. Something happens with his tactical charges. I don't know what it is. I shouldn't have died there. Uh, wasn't really focusing on that. I shouldn't... Ah, yeah. Don't know what to say. One more revive, and we're good. Just a couple of reef of her cheeky intercepts and he's dead. All right, that was so much easier than my first attempt against Nick Fury. I think there's a level up event going on right now too. I was trying to decide between She-Hulk and Domino and I think this fight has decided who I'm gonna be ranking up first. I won't tell you who I'm gonna rank up first, but uh, I'll let uh, you guys decide. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay. Um, yeah. Uh, that's it for today for now I think uh, as far as act six goes I'm gonna I'm gonna call it uh, call it good there um, but I, I will be hopping back into it maybe tomorrow I'll be back for some more some more punishment I don't know but um, yeah that's it that's it for today um, thank you guys so much for for sticking around okay oh, dude I didn't even see you in here uh, Glad you stopped by. I'll be back tomorrow. If I do a stream tomorrow, it'll be likely around the same time as this. So go ahead, keep an eye out for that. Let me pull up some outro music here for you. All right, guys. Um, yeah, thank you so much. I think there are a bunch of people that subscribed and I don't remember everybody, but you know, thank you all so much for the support. Liking the video as well. Much appreciated. All you guys chatting, making it easier to grind. Uh, Till I see you next, though, guys. Hang in there. May the RNG be with you, and peace out.